And so what would you say to somebody that is like, you know, I want to get into this. You know, I want to do what Aaron Marino is doing. Look at how successful he is. I know it took him a long time. I want to do something like that. But it's so, you know, there's so many people out there. There's so many things. How can I separate myself? How could I... How could I be an Aaron Marino too? Or, you know, <laughs> what, what would you say yeah, to them? What I would say is, is you, you, what are the, what is the, is it Wayne Gretzky, Gretzky who said something to the effect of you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. So what I would say is, you know, yes, there, there, there's a lot, right? It's very noisy mm -hmm. out there. When I started, one of the reasons why I'm successful and why I became, you know, fairly popular is because I was literally the first person. And oh. it's not that I was great at it. It was that I, you know, was the first person to kind of st start talking about this. And so what I've, what I've seen is, is a lot of these, you know, people that are just starting really, really explode because they're offering their unique perspective. You know, you know, th the people that don't succeed are people that try to emulate or copy oh. a style or a format. But if you're just you and you bring a unique perspective, you will find your audience, or I should say your audience will find you. And, and it's something where you can't force it, but you just need to be true to yourself and, and your message and, and give it a try. What happens? I mean, what's the worst thing? You know, I don't feel, feel, fear failure as much as I do regret. And so give it a shot. If it works, it works, but give it time because that's the other thing. A lot of people expect immediate results. And this isn't a, this, it took me seven years to get my seven or eight years. No, it took me nine years to get my first million subscribers Oof, to get to 1 million. Yeah. It took me nine years. Nine and so years. everybody's like, yeah. And then I got the next million in like, you know, six months. And so it was one of those things where, and for the first five years, I didn't make a, a really any money off of, off of YouTube. I didn't have any sponsorships or I was just putting out content because I enjoyed doing it. I had uh, a passion to help people. And so, you know, I think that's one of the other things that really sort of has changed the industry a little bit. Now everybody knows, you know, oh, well, if you're popular, you can, you know, make money at, at YouTube or whatever the platform mm -hmm. is being a quote unquote influencer. Um, you know, and I think that when you go at it with that mentality of I'm going to make money and I'm going to make this a business, it's a little bit trickier just because people can really kind of tell, I think. Mm -hmm. and they're so used to seeing sort of the sales pitch. They're used to seeing the people that are trying to sell them stuff. But what will never go out of style is just an authenticity that that you are there just to share your perspective and opinion and whatever happens, happens. And so I think that if you're going to go into something like this, you know, start there, start with, I'm just going to see if I enjoy it. And if people like what I have to say and, and then go from there, you'll, you'll figure out a way how to monetize it. Once you figure out your message and just the consistency of putting out content. It's interesting because I was just reading on CNN today, uh, a guy on TikTok, I think he's like 20 something has 30 million followers and now is like, has a partnership with Louis Vuitton and he did it in a year and a half. I'm like, that's incredible. Like it's, it's like, there's no formula. It feels like, you know, for the success. You know, mm -mm. Yeah. no, and TikTok's a different animal, and and it's, I mean, all of the different platforms have their 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 pros and their cons, but yeah, TikTok is one of the ones where it's it's a little bit not easier, but it's easier to to sort of grow, I think, on that platform as opposed to a YouTube. But a YouTube is is facilitating newer creators and really trying to. Um, you know, facilitate and, and help them grow. And a little, little hack, <laughs> I'll tell you, everybody always asks, well, what's a tip for, for somebody starting a, a YouTube yeah. channel in order to grow? Mm -hmm. So what I would do is if you are a, a, if you have a niche or you've got a genre that you're going into, look at the other people that are in your space or your mm -hmm. genre. If there are, most of the time there is somebody in your space at this stage of the game and look at what their most popular, like three videos are. You can sort and filter videos for people by, by most popular do your version of those topics, not necessarily copy them per se, but you know that people are searching or have been interested oh. in those. And so that's a, that's a way to, you know, it's kind of like hack the system a little bit because YouTube will show your content typically a little bit. If, if it's a newer video, they like new videos, they like new creators. And so that's a way to grow a little bit faster than I did. <laughs>